dear students how are you all doing i hope you all are making the most of your time at home i welcome you all to today's english class children today we are going to do a picture composition yes already also we have done a few sessions on picture composition but now this picture composition is different from the ones we had done earlier how is it different you might be wondering okay children today i'll show a picture to you and the composition that is given is in the form of a story there are a certain clues or you may say hint words that are given in the picture on the basis of those clues you have to complete the story sounds interesting i'm sure we'll have great fun doing this picture composition so should we start okay children this picture composition is given on page number 123 of your grammar book the grammar connect so here is it picture composition look at the picture carefully write suitable words to complete the story okay so now which picture is given to you oh wow this seems to be quite an interesting picture yes so children here is the picture for you let us first of all first of all observe the picture carefully what all we can see in this picture now we can see an elephant in the picture then we can see a few people standing around the animal or sitting around the animal and what is strange is all of them are touching elephant from different areas different parts of elephant are being touched by different people why are they do doing so do you have any idea we'll come to know don't worry so first of them he is holding the tusk of the elephant in his hand and he is saying it is a spear okay then the second person he is holding the trunk of the elephant and he is saying it's a snake oh wow what a comparison then this one he is holding the ears of the elephant and he's saying it's a fan oh yes somewhere it looks like a fan huge fan now this one who is sitting he is touching the leg of the elephant and he's saying it's a tree this one is touching the skin of the elephant and he's saying it's a wall very different comparisons with different parts of the body isn't it now this one he is holding the tail of the elephant in his hand and he's saying it's a rope you might be wondering why are they doing so so children to avoid that suspense we need to 
read the story. So let's get started. Okay. First I'll read it for you. Then we'll try to fill in the blanks. Once upon a time, there lived dash blind men in a village. They had no idea what or who an elef elephant is. One day, they came across an dash. They began to touch the animal to understand what it was like. Soon a quarrel broke out. One said, an elephant is like a dash. He said this because he touched its tusks. His friend spoke up. No, no, it is like a dash. He was touching the elephant's thick leg that was similar to a tree trunk. Okay, both of you are wrong, said the third one. This elephant is like a dash. Can you tell what part of the elephant's body he was touching? It was the tail, of course. The fourth man said, I don't understand how all of you can be blind. This animal is like a huge dash. Needless to say, he was touching its ears. Absolutely not, said the fifth as he touched its trunk. An elephant resembles a dash. However, the sixth man had something else to say as he touched its dash. The elephant is nothing but a wall, he concluded. Just then, a wise man happened to pass by. He heard the men quarreling and then said, All of you are right. You were touching the different parts of an elephant. And if you put them together, you will get an elephant. Okay, I'm sure although there are certain blanks which we need to fill. But you must have got the gist of the story. What does the story tell us? Yes. Now, let's try to fill in the blanks. Because now we have understood that the story is about a few blind men who were touching different parts of the body of an elephant and just because of their touch, they compared it to a snake, a tree, a spear, fan, wall and a rope. You know children, the senses of blind people other than to see, rest all senses are very strong. So, they could just compare the parts to different things. Let's try and complete the story. Okay. Once upon a time, there lived dash blind men in a village. Yes. How many blind men? One, two, three, four, five and six. So what would come over here? Very good. Once upon a time, there lived six blind men in a village. Children, once we read the complete content, then we come to know and we, we understand what is being told in it. Then fill in the blanks becomes completing the story becomes easy. Okay, once upon a time there lived six blind men in a village. They had no idea what or who an elephant is. Now children, they had no idea. That means they didn't know 
or they did not understand what is an ele elephant or who is an elephant because they were blind they did not know about an elephant one day they came across an dash yes what did they come across yes all of them came across an elephant so what would come over here is elephant one day they came across an elephant they began to touch the animal to understand what it was like okay so because they could not see so what could they do they could just touch it to understand or to come to know what it was so they began began means started they started to touch the animal to understand what it was like soon a quarrel broke out soon as they touched the animal touched the elephant a quarrel broke out quarrel broke out means a fight started fight or you may say a dispute or a clash of uh, what they were feeling or a disagreement you can say a quarrel a clash of uh, uh, an argument you can say it broke out clash of ideas you can say one said an elephant is like a dash now children here we have to be very careful now one said we don't know about whom is it talking so we have to read the next line to understand about whom because there were six people and all six of them compared the elephant to different things so we need one said an elephant is like a dash if we read till here can we make it out one said it was like a spear one said it was like a snake one said it was like a fan one said it was like a tree one said it was like a wall one said it was like a rope what should come over here can we tell no we cannot tell unless we read the line that is next to it the sentence that is next to it one said an elephant is like a dash let's read the next sentence he said this because he touched its tusks okay what are tusks do you know yes children tusks are these teeth that stick out from the elephant's mouth we can see yes and you know they are made up of a very special material called ivory although uh, that's not given in the paragraph just for your knowledge sake i'm telling you that elephants they use tusks to dig into the ground for water or maybe peel the bark of the trees right so these teeth that stick out from the elephant's mouth they are called the tusks so he said this because he touched its tusks now children from this sentence we come to know that he is talking about this person who was touching its tusks so an elephant is like a what did he say it's a spear so an elephant is like a spear now what is a spear children a spear is a weapon with a very pointed tip so now these teeth were also very pointed he touched the tusks so that's why he compared it to a spear his friend spoke up no no it is like a dash again we cannot guess which friend spoke which right so we need to see the next sentence he was touching the elephant's thick leg that was similar to a tree trunk now who was touching the elephant's thick leg this person what did he say it's a tree so his friend spoke up no no it's like a 
tree. Yes. Isn't it interesting? Okay. Now, both of you are wrong. Said the third one. The elephant is like a dash. Okay. Again, we need to read the next sentence. Can you tell what part of the elephant's body he was touching? It was the tail, of course. Okay. So, what would come here? This elephant is like a... The one who was touching the tail, what did he say? Yes, he said, this elephant is like a rope. Right? Okay, next paragraph. The fourth man said, I don't understand how all of you can be blind. This animal is like a huge dash. Needless to say, he was touching its ears. Okay, again the next sentence is giving us a clue. So, what did this man say? I don't understand how can how all of you can be blind. This animal is like a huge. The one who was touching its ears, what did he say? It's like a huge fan. Needless to say. Needless to say means clearly or obviously he was touching its ears. Absolutely not. Said the fifth as he touched its trunk. Okay. The one who touched its trunk. Who is touching its trunk? Yes. This man who is sitting, he is touching the trunk of the elephant. And what is the trunk of an elephant? Yes, a trunk is this, you can say this elongation of the nose and upper lip. It's very useful for elephants. They use it to store water, to drink later, to bring water and for a lot many other things. To make sounds like trumpet sounds the elephants produce, they create. So, he said... Absolutely not. Absolutely means certainly not. Without any doubt. Clear. So definitely it is not a fan. An elephant resembles a. So what did he say? An elephant. The one who touched its trunk. He said the elephant resembles a snake. However, the sixth man had something else to say as he touched its dash. The elephant is nothing but a wall, he concluded. However, the sixth man, he had some different idea. He had something else to say as he touched its. Yes, this is the sixth man. What did he touch? He said, the elephant is nothing but a wall. Yes, why did it appear like a wall? It was the skin of the elephant as he touched its skin. You know, the skin of the elephant is very thick and tough. Right? So, as he touched its skin, it appeared to him like a wall. As a wall is very thick, he also thought that this was a wall. But it was actually the skin of the elephant. He concluded, just then a wise man happened to pass by. Just then a wise man, he crossed from there. He heard the men quarreling and then said, he heard that all of them were quarreling over, a, over an elephant while they were touching the different parts of the elephant. So he intervened and he said, all of you are right. He said that all of you are Right, you were touching the different parts of an elephant. And the problem is, because you were touching the different parts of the elephant, that's why you are having different views about it. And if you put them together, you will get an elephant. So, he said that if you put all these parts together, what are you going to get? Yes, you're going to get an elephant. So, 
children that was a nice ending to the story and we have completed the story the picture composition by with the help of the hints that are given in the picture and by reading the composition that is given to us very carefully and making a connection between the picture and the composition that is given to us and that is how you need to do your picture compositions i hope that this was helpful for you and it is going to help you in your future exercises also whatever picture compositions to you you do that's all for today my dear children take care bye bye